This tutorial demonstrates how to use frames and transitions. We've created a simple animation of a star moving from left to right. There are frames for the star at 0 and 20. Move the time in the timeline to frame 10 and add a new frame. The new frame adopts the size and position of the animation. Try moving the star at frame 10 and pressing play. The animation now has three frames, with two transitions. The first transition is from 0 to 10 and the second from 10 to 20. Delete frame 10, and the animation is back to the way it started. Select frame 0 and reduce the opacity in the frame's properties. The star now fades in, as it transitions from 0 to 20. Return the opacity to 100%, and then this time change the angle of the star. The star will rotate, as it transitions. To make the star rotate 360 degrees, change the rotation direction to clockwise and the rotations to 1. To make the transition more interesting we can change the easing type. In quadratic, makes the transition ease in using a quadratic equation. Basically, the transition starts slowly and ends quickly. There are some fun easing types, like out elastic, which makes the transition ease out like an elastic band. Another, is out bounce, which makes the transition ease out like a bouncing ball. The transition can also be curved, alter the curve property, and a dotted line appears in the editor so the direction of the curve can be seen. The transition can curve in both directions. If needed, transition can be turned off. A dotted line appears in the timeline and the star will not be animated between frames 0 and 20. Try combining all these features in your animations for some amazing effects.